Hello friends, we're straight back. Like I promised in the last one, we're not, we're, there's no waiting time at all. We're not going into fun world. We are in fun world. <laughs> um, because we're going to continue talking about the opera. And, ooh, fishies. We're going to be distracted. That's also a important thing to do. Look at the fishies. Let's swim with them. Ooh, fishies. Uh, but yeah, while we're swimming with the fishies, you should subscribe to the channel. Oh, and I should get water. I'm not a fish. Oh, look how many fishies there are. Look at that. Swim, 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 swim. Swim, swim, sw This is real deep, too. Holy moly. I didn't realize how deep this is. This is actually kind of... Oh, fuck. What the hell are you? You have brains, huh? Whose brains did you steal? Why are you not dead? Where did you come from? Hmm. You're really ruining my swimmy fishing time. This looks good, though, right? Like, it looks really cool. I mean, he's not really... Not really a massive danger to me, I don't think. Yeah. Ah, it's all right. It's all right. Um, yeah, so the plan was that we're basically just going straight from from last episode to next episode and can talk more about the opera, but then instead we, we found the fishies and... Um, and we talked about these, and then we got attacked by a zombie. I mean, you were there to witness it. You you saw it. I'm not I'm not lying. I'm not making up these these stories. You know, people always accuse me of making up stories, but then you know, you swim with the fishies, and suddenly a zombie attacks you. Right? Right? See? Right? Okay. <laughs> oh, what nonsense! What utter nonsense! Was he? I could put stuff on that horse. Yeah, I have I have stuff. Uh. I have armor for my horse here. Iron horse armor. But I will not do that now. I will get more of these. It's just fun to chop wood, isn't it? It's just like, it's good. I like it. Although, oh, okay, a little sunset. Okay, where were we? All right, we're already two minutes, 30 seconds in. It's a it's a pretty standard just Mary's episode, uh, rambling left and right. Okay, so last last we left off, Simon had just been crowned as the new Doce of Genoa. Look, we're all looking at the sunset. It's so beautiful. And he he found out his the love of his life has died. His his daughter was left uh, was lost to him, possibly dead, like tiny little child lost in the woods. We're we're basically devastated. It's all not going really well for for us emotionally. It's going well for us politically if we're on Simon's side. Anyway, so jump twenty years, and basically um, Simon has been the Doge the whole time. He's uh, it's hard to say. Like definitely, some people hate him. You know, and there's always per political intrigue. He like he's responsible for. For certain death and suffering, but he also, in some ways, seems to have been a good doge. Um, <clears throat> there's the there's a general whoop, fight between the patricians and the plebeians, so it's very very Roman too, you know. <clears throat> Obviously, the patricians being the the wealthies and the plebeians being the the great masses. I'm not very versed in genuine politics of the 14th century, but you know, kind of get get the get the gist. Ooh. Do you think the zombies still there? The fishies are still there. It's so deep, isn't it? Isn't it so deep? Like it, it's worryingly deep. Huh. Doom. Doom, 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 doom. Um, yeah, okay, so he's been the Doge for 20 years. He has political enemies. And his not father-in-law, because he couldn't marry his uh, dead beloved. But, you know, still kind of, um, you know, relations, I would say, uh, has been in hiding, has 
has been I forgot the name. They're not not the Garibaldi's, but some really Italian name. <laughs> and uh, he's been hiding with that family, who's also like political opposition to him. And and that family has a there's there's a girl. Oh, now I'm going to. I think her name is Emily or Amelia. There's there's like a bunch of different names they throw around, but also also yeah okay. So I think it's Amel Amelia or something. I don't know Amelia, Amelie. Well, you know, you just look. You look up. You look it up yourself. You know, you, I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, betting your appetite for the opera, and you're like, "Wow, I need to know more about this," and then also see it myself. But yeah, so there's a crown girl there. Crown girl is like a, well, like a twenty-something-year-old, and you, you won't like. You will not believe this. You will not believe this. You know, but, but she's actually Simon's daughter, a uh, long lost daughter. And we, we find this out because she also has a locket for of her, her mother. And like, there's a secret because they're pretending that she is like the natural born daughter of this, this noble house, but she's actually just a commoner is what they think. But she's not a commoner because she is obviously the daughter of Simon, and she's the granddaughter of that, that that other guy whose name escapes me, you know, but who's who was an was a big deal. And so they find this out. Um, she is in love with Simon's uh, young enemy. Uh, what's his name? Man, I should have written down these names. <laughs> and uh, Simon now, yeah, he he he's coming to her, the daughter coming to her because he's basically going to advocate for uh, his his well friend, his ally Paolo, which we remember from the first first act as the guy who brought him into power. He wants to marry um, this girl. Well, I'll just what is her name? Uh, I'm Amelia. But I should have looked this up. I'm just going to call her Emily. <laughs> Let's just assume she's Emily. You know, names What's in the name? A rose by any other name, right? An Emily by any other name. So uh, he he's going to ask for, well, he's going to sort of order. Well, okay, the idea is he's going to make her marry uh, Paolo. But then it turns out, he finds out that she is his daughter and they're reunited and there's the the cool thing about opera is like there's there's very grand emotions very quickly you know like rage and love are like inter intertwined and and happen super fast super fast um, believe you me what do I want to do oh that happens sometimes oh yeah I wanted to build like a little over. Okay, okay, okay. All right. <clears throat> yeah, lots of emotions. Anyway, so they're reunited and then he's like, I will not, of course, I will not make you marry him. You can marry whoever you want. And I, it seems also like he would have also done this already. Like he seems like he's sort of a good guy, you know, for the times. Um. But that really pisses off Paolo, you know? And so, uh, like, it gets kind of convoluted. But how do, how do I design this? Let me have a thank. Chip, 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 chip. Ah, mistakes were made by me. All right, I think this is okay. Oh, I'm so bad at this game. Like if I was thinking instead of talking about the opera, maybe I would be slightly better, but not much. Don't worry about it.
Okay, let's see. Does that look good? No. I done goofed. Here and here. That looks good, I think. Yeah, okay. So there's lots of intrigues. But basically, you know, um, there's going to be like an uprising that's kind of led by the lover of Simon's daughter and Paolo he's really pissed off you know and now he's like I'm gonna I'm gonna kid kidnap uh Emily who's also sometimes called Maria after her mom you <laughs> see I'm, I'm I'm talking like you know it's kind of kind of kind of weird you know you don't follow everything my, my Italian isn't good enough yeah, this looks good right this will this will this will do this will do Uh, but yeah, so Paolo, first he kidnaps, he wants to kidnap uh, Emily, but he he fucks up. Well, he doesn't do it personally, but his guy fucks up because the the lover of Emily is getting uh, in the way and he, he kills the guy Paolo hired to, to kidnap Emily. And... This kind of like culminate. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! It's okay. I survived. Um, this culminates in uh, a scene in the in like the parliament where Simon realizes that Paolo is the one who abducted her, and so he's he he's sly about it, and he's kind of making he's making him curse the person who abducted her and putting him in charge of finding them so he's like kind of playing a an intrigue game and paolo is really really is like i cursed my own name oh it's still haunting me how could it how could this have happened what can i do now and then he's like simon must die and he gets like so he basically tries to propose to both the the father of Maria, the old Maria, the one that died, Simon's love, and the the new, the guy who loves uh, his daughter, to kill Simon. And the father is like, even though he's like sworn he hates him or whatever, he's like, no, don't, I'm not an assassin. Something like that is inappropriate. I don't, you know, I would never do this on my honor. Um, and, and Paul is like, what the hell, dude, come on, I'm giving, putting you on, on, putting him on a plate to you, you could just do it, but it's okay, he puts him back in, into like a cell or whatever, and then the other guy's like, I, should I do it, will I do it, um, and he gives him like the dagger to do, to do it, but at the same time, Paul is like, well, even if it's not going to be assassinated by my political rivals, which would work out better for me, obviously. Um, I'm just going to poison his drink, too. <laughs> so, you know, in Germany we say, uh, double holds better. That's what we say. So, doing something double or twice works better. <laughs> and it's true. It's true. Um, the the would-be assassin, you know, young lover guy, young lover bro, uh, is is stopped from it and is like, what? She's, he's your, he's your father. I didn't realize. I thought he's actually he wants to be your lover. That really brought rage to my chest. But now I see, I see it's all different. How what a fool I have been. So he doesn't kill him, but Simon drinks inadvertently the poisoned water and he's like wow <laughs> it's actually kind of it's, it's pretty hilarious it's like wow even fresh water tastes bitter to those who have to rule it's like no i think it might just be the poison mate you're, you're really you're, you're kind of yeah you're a goner um 
but yeah, he's very slow acting poison, so so things are still slowly progressing. Um, yeah, so it it kind of culminates then in um, Paolo is being is found out in the end, and I mean he was already found out, but he's going to be executed because he, he also partakes in like another uprising. He's like, this is my only chance to do it, and he gets caught doing that. And so he's going to get executed, but he's like, but Simon might still die even before me. He he has been poisoned by my hand. Ha <laughs> um, ha But let me see. Let me see. The end uh, is then like there is this. They're, they're still staging a wedding for the young guy and and Simon's daughter. The Maria, the old Maria's uh, father, um, is finds out that like oh she's she's my maria's daughter she's my granddaughter now i can forgive you i have years ago i i said only if we can if you can give me my granddaughter will i ever forgive you and you were unable to do so but now now you have done it how do i do that so it doesn't look completely stupid that's what i'm wondering um so this good simon dies in the embrace of his his daughter and um the new the lover guy who was very enraged but but then found him to be his his father-in-law <laughs> uh becomes the new Dolce and it's sort of all is kind of well right like i mean there is death and sadness it's bittersweet but things things have gone better than they they often do in in theater productions i would say uh, that's sort of the the story told in an incredibly convoluted way like like I'm want to do like I'm prone to do yeah uh, let me see there's a couple notes I made so a little sleep ah uh, yeah the beautiful set oh it was so good it was amazing uh, there was no ballet this time but there were like other mass scenes which were really nice I like when there's ballet, but it, it didn't really need it this this time. The music very good. The great the drama and emotions are oh, opera is so is so next level. It's so dramatic. Oh, really good. Ooh, this it's interesting. It's so dark because it's so long. Oh, but it's also um I should make some some class actually that's that's what I should have done. Should have done and will do. Oh, I have some glass. That's good. Do I have sand? Nope. Yep. I'm so unorganized. It is brew. Wait, do I have any cool? Yeah. There we go. All right. That'll, that'll do it. I fall down here every time. I probably should do something about this. Uh, yeah, so great emotions. Um, it's Italian, so I've been studying um, Spanish. And so one aspect that's kind of cool is that I can understand at sometimes, not all of it. There's a lot of subtitles, obviously, which is good. But I can understand like some of uh, the words. That's good, that's good. That looks good. Uh, because they're so similar to Spanish. I, I enjoyed that. Uh, great I'm gonna screw. Ah, okay, okay, yeah. I, I know what I'm going to name this video. I think the first one I won't name this because Paolo is not going to be uh, featured as much and he's not like the villain, but I'm... Um, I had already decided uh, the name for at least the second one now. Whoa, 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 this is scary. What? Zombie? I can hear a zombie. Okay, all right, okay. That was kind of good, right? Sort of. I feel like, actually, maybe I should do it all the way to the bottom. Maybe that zombie should go away, it's scary. 
I don't like it at all. Mm. Um, oh yeah, there's a couple more things. Uh, <laughs> so I forgot my opera classes. They would have been pretty handy this time, but you know, it's okay. It's like an old time. Oh, it looks good. It looks so weird. It looks so fucking weird. I love it. Oh, and I think I'm going to make this this upper thing also. Um, also class. Oh, there's the zombie. Are you alright? You alright, mate? You okay? Oh, shit! Oh. Okay, didn't need to go in the water. I, I really over... Well, you know, I'm happy for that little guy. He, he got a le uh, at least one hit in. I'm happy for him. So yeah, upper class would have been good. Um, oh, obviously, like a lot of this is, is quite sexist, right? It's like old timey, and like it's all women should, you know, marry be this and they're the trophies, things like that. Uh, oh, the 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 people, the audience, they got kind of like more rowdy in the second one, or like they were like less focused because there's an intermission, and afterwards they were like there were people. Just being like more loud, um, opening like you know plastic things. I don't know what they were doing, but I was like, the the first, the first part, the first before the intermission was completely quiet, and the second one suddenly people were like, oh okay, it's going towards the end. I guess we can we can just be you know <laughs> annoying. We're very strange. Um, oh, one funny thing: the dosh sometimes like. When he was in his full regalia, he looked like a very kingly. But like he had kind of like it looked like a pajama. He basically looked like Fraser in like a a red pajama or something like that. It was so funny because like his haircut was also kind of like you know he was. I don't know. It's just like the whole thing. He looked like like Fraser, and that I was like, uh, I I liked that. I I enjoyed that. Um, because it's just like, uh, all the. You know, um, all these grand emotions is like, you know, really rich people, like well dressed otherwise. And then this guy looking like he's in a pajama and he's fresh and it's, ah, uh, yeah, that was funny. Um, and then the applause was very long for opera. Ballet usually has incredibly long applause. Um, they, they need the applause to like heal their joints, but opera doesn't need that long applause, but they still like, they did like, I don't know. I would say they went like 10 times back and forth. They got the curtains down four times and put them up again. Which is good. I mean, they did really, really good. It was it was an, a great show. So, well deserved. But it's interesting. So, I need to make this a bit more symmetrical. So, it's not quite as ugly. Let's see. Um, but yeah, it was, it was really good. I mean, this is also running long again, as always. Ah, ha, ha, that is not at all what I wanted to do. What do I want to do, though, is the question. Cause like I mean this looks like shit, right? Like this this just looks like shit. <laughs> like who came up with this? What what complete idiot? Boo boo Yeah, I mean, yeah, it was good. Go to the opera. Opera is fun. And I'll, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll figure this out then. Yeah, I mean, it's already a lot better. It's okay. It's okay. I'll put, like, more boxes around there, too. It looks almost like a, a cathedral or something, in a way.
Yeah, okay. I'm not going to keep you anymore. You guys stay spoopy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.